Hey, hey, we are back in the ant hell, and uh, let's go ahead and kill some ants. She comes, she comes. Okay, so we're definitely going to be finding that legendary that I mentioned in the previous episode, Psycho Modder. I assume that's the she. Uh, the old man in the house said that... Oh, this is a bad matchup. Said that Psycho Modder was the mother of all... Trickwees, s'mores, and sponies? Do we have anything good for this? I mean, I guess glass slug is good. Does bug resist water? No. Okay, so yeah, glass slug is good. That's a cool nightshade animation. I like it. Uh, not Pokemon. I messed up. Better. I never remember. I think it's Bubble Beam. Wait, wait, what? Oh, it's not Fire type yet. I compl okay. How can you get burned? You are a Water Pokemon. That's crazy. Uh, S'more isn't a Fire type until it evolves into Fire Oak, and I entirely forgot about that. We're gonna have to switch out. Paralect, uh, uh Turlard. Bug does resist ground, so... Unfortunately, the only thing super effective against electric is ground. So we might as well just magnitude it. Hopefully we can get, like, magnitude 10? Ah. 7 seems to be the average. Or the... Uh, what are they called? Mode? I think it's mode. The most common thing. I don't know, it's been a while since I took elementary school math. Well, maybe it was in middle school too. I don't know, they repeat a lot of stuff. Who knows when I learned what. Fire Oak. Uh, we'll just stay right here. Uh, Rock Slide is double super effective. I don't really care for Fire Oak's design. The red is very pronounced, and I understand that they want to make it clear that it's a fire Pokemon. But it, it stands out a bit too much. I did not see who they're switching in. Okay, well this is still not a bad matchup, I don't think. Because I'm pretty sure Spawny is just Bug-type. I don't think it's Water-type until it evolves into Sponary, I think is its evolution's name. Okay, so that's just the baby electric bug. Rock Slide should easily take care of that. Okay, so this is the evolution. This one is water type, I think. But water does not resist rock. Okay, so water guns got like 30 power, and it did that much damage, really. Maybe we can get a critical hit and just knock it out here. No, unfortunately we can't. Oh, it flinched. What? Rock slide, ca rock slide cause flinches? I've never really looked at the move Rock Slide. I, I can't. I, I don't. I admit that I have not used the move very much. Wow, so we had all three and all of the evolutions. That's crazy. We're gonna have to use. Maybe we're gonna have to use some berries, actually. We have uh, the burn berry. Maybe used or held. I can't use it, though. It's kind of... kind of stupid. Okay, so I can use Ross Berries, though. Oh, wait, what? Are they not burned outside of battle? Now I feel stupid. Super Potion, got a Heal Glass Slug, and got a Heal Turlard. Running out of potions, though, unfortunately. More bug types. Let's knock him out. An intruder. Bug Maniac Fly. How many Pokemon does this guy have? Six, and it's all the same Pokemon again? He's only got one. He's just got Spawnery. Um, we don't really have anything good here, though. Who 
who should we choose? I guess Metalinx might not be a bad choice. Bug type moves are normal effective because it's steel, at least. Rain Dance isn't really going to help you. You're not really in a good position for that. Let's bullet seed it. I think it should do more damage than Leaf Blade would if I can get a good number of hits. And I did get five, the maximum number of hits. I don't know if Leaf Blade would have brought it down so far. Wow. That was actually a surprising amount of damage. Of course, that's only because of Rain Dance. Ooh, we level up. And Glass Lug is trying to learn Recover. I'm not teaching you Recover, I'm sorry. Ay -ay 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 -ay. Uh, maybe we should switch. Uh, or actually, we gotta go into Pokemon. Glass Lug's actually. Wait, what item is. What item is he holding? Quick Claw. Oh, okay. Maybe we should give. Who? I think the item this should be holding is absolutely EXP share. I would like to switch them. And I'll give Gyarados the lucky egg, I guess. Because I really want to level up S51. I feel like it's going to be a very useful Pokemon. Unfortunately, the Fire Gym's really going to be difficult, which is, uh, of course, what we're coming up on, if you missed it last time. Did I? Oh, I have a weak Pokemon out front, and this is level too high for me. Can we run? Can't escape, really. And now I'm paralyzed. You gotta be kidding me. What a waste of an item that I'm definitely gonna have to use. Well, let's switch out to Turlard anyway. At least S51 will get EXP regardless. It was gonna use Thunder Wave a second time. In the game Pokemon Reborn, all the Pokemon are like EV trained and they've got like the perfect moves and stuff. And that, I, I didn't really care for that. The game was too hard for me. I am way too casual. But this game, I feel, has the opposite problem where, well, I mean, this Pokemon might only have electric attacks. But if it doesn't, it definitely should be using something that isn't electric. We're going to have to switch out Pokemon as well. We can't have him out front. I guess we'll switch out Gerbolta. Not super useful here, but not garbage either. So hungry. We might have to run back outside and heal, actually. Rock Slide is just about out of PP, and I'm probably going to need that. Because I'm sure there's a... Oh, I can't go back up. Oh, I just realized that. That's not good. I do not like that. Wow, that was a critical? That's not a whole lot of damage for a critical. I'm surprised it didn't burn me. I do hope Electro Ball takes into account their half speed from paralysis. I assume it does, but it might not. I don't know. Ah. Uh, so yeah, we can't go back up. It's not possible. So we're going to have to deal with this as best we can. Pretty sure... Does paralysis persist outside of battle in this game? I don't know. Yes, it does. So we're going to have to... I'm sure we have... Where are... We have no paralysis heals? We do have full heal, though, so that'll work. Let's heal that paralysis. And I guess take down another bug trainer, right? You, get out. Uh, cannot get out. In fact, I am falling down holes to get down here. 
Elect. Can we paralyze electric types? I'm not sure if that's possible. But we're gonna try it. Mm, it has Volt Absorb. Are you serious? How many hits is he gonna get? Two. Okay. Well, uh, this Pokemon is entirely useless in this situation. I guess let's switch out to Turlard. We may end up having to use an Ether or a Lepa Berry. Wow, I just realized something. Maybe... Wow, that was a critical hit. Are you kidding me? Wow, Turlard is taking ridiculous damage from Fury Swipes. Anyway, it occurs to me that the Lepa Berry has two Ps in its name. And I'm pretty sure that's because it, it restores PP. Just realized that. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Why is Fury Swipes doing so much damage? It's ridiculous. Can we one-hit kill it? Because I really hope so. Otherwise, it's going to kill us. Yep, it killed Turlard. I cannot... Oh, it flinched. Oh, what are the chances? If you miss, you die. Okay, you didn't miss. Okay, so... Excellent. No... Okay, so we have to heal, and I'm going to go ahead and use an Aether. We have to. We need it way too bad. Do we have any berries that restore health? I really don't want to use Hyper Potions for this. We don't. Ah. Which means I'm forced to use Hyper Potions. Like I said, I have a coconut milk, so I can use coconut milk on Gerbolta. And a Hyper Potion on Turlard. Let's go ahead and save the game just in case. Never know when a crash will hit you. I have not crashed a single time in this game so far, but you can't let it trick you into thinking it'll never happen. I must fight for Mother. So these are all infected with some sort of bug disease. Mantis. Pyro. Okay, that'll be uh, that'll be an okay matchup, I guess. We'll nuzzle it. Hopefully, it'll be paralyzed and unable to hit us, and then we can kill it. Excellent. Then we can kill it with Electro Ball. He has three Pokemon, so he might also have Spulnery and who's the other one? Uh, I just fought it, Heralact. Let's see. Swollering, yeah. We'll just, uh, we'll say no. We'll stay on Gerbolta, because this is a water type. And Bug doesn't resist electricity, so. That still wasn't very much damage. Again, we can hope for the, ah, uh, Fury Swipes. Wow. Uh, that's some serious Fury Swipes resistance there, Gerbolta. Four times. It did four damage per hit. That's crazy. Crazy low. Okay, so we're gonna have to switch out for this next one, though. There's no... It, I mean, there's too high of a chance that it could have Volt Absorb. Yeah, it's Hair Elect. So we'll just switch out to here. Turlard's about to level up. On critical hit, one hit kill. He tried though. Fury swipes. Oh, I'm so glad they missed. Okay, this guy's down. There can't be too much left, is there? I mean, we've gone down like three different floors. It's crazy. Okay, this is. Hey, you over here. What do you mean? There's only one place they could be. There are three walls around you. Um, maybe we should switch Pokemon here. 
Well, Dribbleta can take care of basically anything. Hi. Could you be... Did you come to rescue me? Oh, thank Arceus. They all appeared at once. My Pokemon were overwhelmed. If you hadn't shown up now, I shudder to think what would have happened. So there are five Fyrokes, four Sponaries, and three Heralex. Did you hear that? Oh no, I have a bad feeling about this. Untie me, quickly! Ah, that's the spirit. Good to feel the air flowing down there again. What? You've never seen a man in a skirt before? Kids these days. Quick, let's get out of here before they notice. They are all standing right there. Wow, that's a bunch more. Jeez. Now we get to see our legendary. The Psycho Modder, the Bugs Queen. She only wakes up once every few years. But when she does, she's always hungry. That is a huge Pokemon. And angry. Look, I hate to do this since I'm a gym leader and all. But all of my Pokemon have fainted, so I won't stand a chance. You have to defeat her. I don't even think about trying to catch her. I don't know what the bugs would do, but I suspect it's impossible anyway. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to give you a hint, gym leader guy. I am going to try and catch her anyway. Let's find out. Scree. She's going to attack. Uh, that is interesting. So we're going to paralyze her and hope that she doesn't have some sort of Volt Fire Water Absorb. Because that would be stupid. I wonder what types it is. Obviously it's Bug type. But other than that... Let's go ahead and Electro Ball. Try and get it relatively low before we do exactly the opposite of what he said. And try and catch this. Uh... We'll just Electro Ball again. Seems pretty good against it. If we can't catch it, then this is actually a really easy battle. But if we can catch it, I'm going to catch it. Okay, so Gibraltar's dead. We are going to use next Pokemon. It's using Nightshade. Uh, I guess we'll use Turlard. It doesn't really matter at this point. I am going to throw a Pokeball at it, though. An Ultra Ball. No, a Net Ball, actually. It is a bug. Used a netball. For some reason, this Pokemon can't be caught. Well, that is stupid. Defend order. Oh, those are, uh, aren't those moves unique to, uh, what is it called? It's that B Pokemon. The B Queen Pokemon. Why would you miss? What is it called? I think the pre-evolution is Honey. I think it's just honey with like two E's. I don't know. Wow, it survived it thanks to that. Oh. Well, uh, you die. Goodbye. So it was probably just pure bug type. I'm really not a fan of these Pokemon that I cannot catch. I'm trying to learn dig. I am not teaching you dig. Sorry. If that were Earthquake, I would be all over that Earthquake. Scree. And then she's gone. Apparently, Psychomata left a jelly material behind. Obtained royal jelly. In the items pocket. You did it. You won. Now let's go before they try and avenge their mother. So we somehow just magically took a escape rope, I guess? Words cannot express my gratitude. If you hadn't shown up when you did, I'd... Well, I won't mince words. I'd be bug food by now. It's due to your courage and your Pokemon's bravery that you managed to save us both. What's your name? Jack. You seem like a very potent trainer. I look forward to seeing you in my gym. You have fire Pokemon. How did you get caught by bugs? Someone's a crappy trainer. In, in addition to me. Ooh, it's raining here now. It was not raining here before. Kind of weird. We definitely need to heal. Where is that rest house? I think it's this one right here. Yes, it is. There's nothing to differentiate it, so it'll stand out. So I just kind of have to guess. 
or remember, but that would mean that I'd have to have good memory, and I don't have that, so... See, now it's not raining. It's weird. Um... Should we even try the gym? We probably shouldn't, because we're at 20 minutes, so we'll probably take on the gym next time. Well, we could kill the first trainer, I guess. We'll check it out. Tico, he's a dancer whose blazing steps and swishing skirts will burn themselves into your memory. Yes, he does quite like to wear skirts. They show off his calves quite nicely, don't they? Okay. It's a big boulder. Yes, I have strength. Oh. I messed up. Crap. Okay, so I, I guess these are buttons. And the boulders can turn off the fire. That's simple enough. Okay, so fire off. Fire on. Now I'm stuck. Well, no. Okay. If you play with fire, you're going to get burned. So this guy's a bug guy, which means, what, does he have like six fire oaks? There is a fire oak. How many Pokemon does he have? How many of them are fire oaks? He has three Pokemon. And how much do you want to bet that all three of them are fire oak? Because I bet they are. Why would you use Nightshade? I guess, actually, fire is weak against... No, it's not. It's not even weak against me. I don't know. Gibraltar might level up from this battle. We're still able to win. No. Okay, I think that gray bar means that he won't. Yeah. Wow, you know? I am so surprised. And by surprised, I mean not surprised at all because it's another Fire Oak. I saw this coming. Nightshade does a surprising amount of damage. Okay, so this time Gerbolta might level up. It's hard to tell where the gray bar ends. Okay, yeah, cool. Level 31 on my, uh... Yeah, I guess we're gonna stick with the same Pokemon. Unfortunately, though, if it's not paralyzed after we paralyze it with Nuzzle, then it's going to Nightshade and kill Gerbolta. Wow, every single battle went exactly the same, except that one killed Gerbolta. So we'll just switch out to Turlard. Rock Slide is always good. Double super effective here. And first trainer of the gym down. It's pretty good. Youch. Yeah, talk about messing with fire. You're going to get burned. But we'll continue this gem fight next time. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.